welcome to Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Yes, I'm your host, Carla Renee, and it's 7 o'clock. We do it every Friday right here on Facebook Live at 7. Yes. And you can also watch like the produced versions of the show on my YouTube channel. So make sure you go there as well and check out, subscribe, share the channel. Let people know that uh, this cooking therapy, honey, it's um, it's getting us together, all right? So YouTube channel is Sugar Pearls. That's S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. And Instagram is Sugar Pearls underscore online. Hey, we're going to cook, right, boo. So, uh, to start our sweet and sour chicken hey Kay <laughs> to start our sweet and sour chicken um I've got some chicken that I have marinated today and I'm gonna tell you the only thing that I marinated this chicken is in is mayonnaise that's it so y'all know if you watched the show last week then you know that I did the unboxing with you of my real appeal program. So I signed up with United Healthcare because, you know, I got to um, lose some of this belly fat. <laughs> and not trying to get into a swimsuit or anything like that for the summer, but I just need to get better. I've got to get better. Got my air fryer. How come y'all didn't tell me that that air fryer was life and breath? Yes, look, look at it. Can you see? That's my. Look at my air fryer. So we gonna do some. Um, we're gonna do some sweet potatoes in the air fryer tonight, and I've already got them. Um, well, I, I, I'm, I gotta peel it. So I've gotta peel it, and then I'm gonna slice it, place it in there. I'm gonna start with that first. My chicken for my sweet and sour chicken. Keep me on track, y'all. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Oh, hi, Elena. Hey, everybody. Hi, Sonolia. Um, the chicken has been marinating in mayonnaise. Nothing else. I didn't even add salt, like I was saying. So with that Real, Real Appeal program... Um, that I'm doing now, I gotta really eat better. And my mom really made it hit home for me. She was like, you gotta start cooking some healthier things, options on your show. I was like, yeah, I know, but some of the things that, you know, are not so healthy taste so good. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and make some adjustments for you. But with this one, I couldn't. So I use my air fryer. It's a seven quart air fryer that I got. And um, I already did some wings in it. I did some sweet Thai chili wings. Honey, delicious. How come y'all didn't tell me the air fryer was life? Life, honey. Um, the only thing I have a problem with, I, I'm still studying the recipe book. And I don't want to fry no chicken in the air fryer yet so i fried let me show you so i i called myself trying to fry just testing out certain things the other night and i did some plantain if you follow me on facebook at carla renee then you saw the plantain they were delicious the skin was let me show you what the skin was so the skin was like this black this is the plantain and when it's like this, it's super sweet. Okay, I'm going to have that for a snack tomorrow. Okay, and it is like candy, candy. I can feel it when you walk. <laughs> yes. But that little fried chicken, honey, it, it's so dry. It tastes like air. It, it tastes like air from the air fryer. And I'm... I'm not doing that, but I am going to do my sweet potato fries in here tonight. So we're going to have some um, sweet and sour chicken and um, air fried sweet potato nice. fries. Okay. Ah, yeah. Yeah, baby. I like this thing. You know, my um, 
It works great in the kitchen and it can also be used as protection. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get some shallots um, sliced up. So th these shallots that I'm slicing are for are for the sweet and sour chicken okay and I got just a little bit of rice that was left over and uh, I'm gonna have that so we got our shallots sliced up with my nice new cleaver I love that cleaver let me tell you that thing so nice I love it okay I, I already put some lemon peel I'm not necessarily I'm gonna use a little bit of the juice but right now I want the um, I want some of the peel off of it the zest the lemon zest okay so when you're zesting your lemon with a little grater like I'm doing something like this yes um, make sure that when you are zesting your lemon that you don't zest the white meat only zest the yellow part of it because that white starts to get really bitter and nobody wants to taste that in their food it's hard to cut down it takes a lot so you know try not to over over zest your lemon and take all the oops take white white off of the lemon okay so when you're zesting you want to make sure that you've got the most yellow part of the lemon got it okay I like a, a little grater it's just easier for me okay and now I can slice it in, in half well not quite half maybe a third because I'm gonna, only going to use about a third of the lemon juice okay so here we have some baby bell peppers a couple of shallots some lemon zest and a little bit of lemon that we're going to juice for the sauce and we've got our chicken remember this is um sweet and sour chicken so we've got our chicken that's marinated for this has been marinating for about two and a half hours today um not a, a very long time but that mayonnaise will really help to kind of break down i used a uh, chicken breast for this so i know um my friend terrence was asking he was like can we use my you know family doesn't really like dark meat from the chicken can we use chicken breast this is one of those chicken breast recipes that you can use okay so um so i did my slices on the chicken very thin and i'll show you and then i just put in in some mayonnaise no salt no nothing like that because it's all going to get tossed in the sweet and sour sauce all right so that's to the side let me grab my gloves i got a little plate here got a little plate that I, I got it before i do that let me let me cut this tater to go in my air fryer okay oh and I can yeah that's it okay I um I hope that despite everything despite <laughs> how um ugly things look right now wherever you are in your space and and you're inviting me into that space um that you're well and if you're asking yourself questions about your own sanity right now like are you really living in america in 2020 like it's okay to ask yourself those questions because the things that are happening now don't really seem real. But we're going to reserve that for the end of our time together. So for those of you that want to stay and hang out, you are more than welcome to do that. Like, I want you to stay. Uh, okay, so I got these peeled. Okay. 
okay and now I'm going to slice these into just a few little um, slices I can't eat this whole sweet potato but I can um, I'm going to slice it up in a way that's kind of reasonable so for tonight um, in the air fryer I'm going to just do a few sweet potato strips okay just slicing some potatoes right now that are going to be my little snack and then what I don't eat tonight of the sweet potatoes hey Beverly <laughs> That's my god sister and Vanessa and Walitha. Hey y'all. So what I don't eat tonight is going to be like a really good snack tomorrow when I just want to like eat something kind of sweet but still healthy and crunchy. Um, my thing is when I get like snacky because I don't buy snacks. I don't buy them for the house whatsoever. You want a snack you got to go to the store yourself. Uh, Cause I know what that does to me, so I don't even keep that temptation around here. Chips and sodas and stuff like that. I don't. But if I do get snacky, and maybe I've already had my fruit serving for the day, then I can grab, you know, a couple of these little sticks and. Have a little little snaggity snack snack. Okay. Okay. All right. So I've got my little potato. So um all I'm gonna do is put the oh no 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 need a little ball. The only thing I'm gonna do with these is a little bit of brown sugar. So this is some of the brown sugar that's gonna go in my um sweet and sour sauce but I want to use it to toss some sweet potatoes as well this really doesn't go together sweet potato fries and sweet and sour sauce but you know I figure in a world with so much madness we could use a little sweet on sweet so there you go Thank you, Vanessa. You know, you are the second person. I promise y'all I'm not pregnant. Did, did somebody have a question? <laughs> I am not pregnant. So the glow, let me tell you, the glow is um, something I can't explain. I can't. Because I am, your girl ain't been feeling so glowy. But I have noticed that there is a there's a, a difference. So thank you for even saying that. I appreciate you for acknowledging that. I have been walking more and just taking my little morning constitutions, trying to you know figure this life shit out. All right. So in the air fryer it goes. Y'all, my gourmet air fryer is bomb. Okay, so, okay, you need to plug it up first. So, she's going to plug it up. Okay, there. are. It's plugged. Alright, start. We're going to do our sweet potatoes with that have been tossed in our... No oil in that. All I did, y'all, you saw me. You saw me toss it with my fingers and nothing but some doggone brown sugar. You saw that. That's all. I'm not putting nothing else in it. Okay, so for my timer, I want to take my timer up to 20 minutes. And I want to take my um, temperature up to 400. Now, I'm going to check on that at the 10 minute mark to make sure it's not overcooking. Okay, so start. I love my little gourmia when I made those um fried plantain. It was so good, child. 
like I put sugar on. All right. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Ingredients for your sweet and sour sauce. So a little scallions um, or I didn't want anything too pungent for this recipe. So I just did some um, shallot, some shallot and lemon zest here and baby bell potatoes that's it so that's gonna go in there but right now i need to um put my gloves on so the chicken breast that you had that was marinating in the mayonnaise no because i didn't mean it like you always look like, oh thank you so much <laughs> You said, no, I didn't take it any other kind of way. I didn't. I appreciate it. I do. I just know how I felt, and I didn't feel so beautiful. But I thank you for, for saying that. Uh, as the queen you are, because you didn't have to do it. So thank you. <laughs> the website is Sugar Pearls online.com YouTube is Sugar Pearls S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S and Instagram is Sugar Pearls underscore online you're here with me I'm good I'm goody good 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 now okay so here is my chicken breast I've already sliced some of it up but I've got a chunk here I want to slice this a little bit thinner see I've got some thin slices of chicken here and I put my gloves on because it can get messy <laughs> all right but um, my my hope for you is that through watching these lives with me and hanging out with me for the past several months that you um, are having fun in the kitchen yes if cooking is not fun or exciting for you and you just like don't see the point other than to get a little sustenance every now and then um i get it i get it no fault to you um but i want you to have fun in the kitchen and just try stuff and don't be afraid like if stuff falls apart and it doesn't work out okay because that happens with me sometimes i just throw the whole damn pot out and start all over again yes <laughs> okay all right so we've got a piece of chicken breast here and i want to get this a little bit thinner so i'm going to put it on my little cutting surface with my cleaver i'll just start to make things nice and thin look at that okay i know it's hard to see with this uh like but I promise you don't be afraid to, to handle your knife so um, as I said before um, this cleaver I know this won't last me a while honey um, but always keep your utensils especially your knives and cleavers and stuff really really sharp it made this work very easy um, dice uh, slicing my chicken you can do diced chicken for this but I just wanted some really thin slices so that's what I've got here in my bowl of mayo All right. this oil is super hot okay so I've got a little bit of oil in here I'm gonna fry it really really high so that it's not sitting in oil so, okay, here's the thing. When you're deep frying, um, make sure that if it's something that can be fried, and that's why I wanted to slice it, slice that chicken really, really thin because it'll take no time for it to like fry up, okay? But if, if you're doing something like that, that doesn't take long, like a really thin sliced chicken or shrimp, fry it fast and high or else it'll be sitting in grease waiting for the grease to get hot and um, all that grease is gonna linger on the food chances are you will be ingesting that in no time hi Michael it's Sugar Pearl <laughs> Studio Kitchen live and I'm your host Carla Renee now 
We are doing a sweet and sour chicken tonight. Sweet and sour chicken. Really thin slice. You can do diced chicken if you want. But I wanted this to cook up kind of fast. So I did really thin slices of chicken breast. Um, that I just marinated in some mayonnaise for about two and a half hours. Okay, and that that was that. So, yeah, that's what we're doing tonight. Okay, got that really, really hot. As soon as you get that first smoke off of the oil, go ahead and get ready. Okay, so, I need, oh, paper bag. I got a paper bag with my, um, cornstarch so I'm not using any flour or anything like that but I am I do have cornstarch in this bag so I'm going to put my chicken ooh, in the cornstarch get in there get in there get in there there we go okay Shake, shake. Oh, man. Okay, so I got a hole in my bag. <laughs> got a hole in it. Okay, I'm, hold, I'm holding it over the sink so it don't get all over my clothes. <laughs> okay, there we go. So every Friday night, I mop the floor because I'm always making such a mess in my kitchen. I told you, it's a beautiful mess. I love it. But it's a mess. Y'all! These potatoes done! My God. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to put a little lemon juice on that. That. That's my uh, air fried sweet potato fries. Stick that in there. No, I don't want that to cook no more. Me, that's it, right? They look so good. They look good, yo. Okay. So let's get some chicken out of here and just try to get as much of that um, cornstarch off of it as you possibly can. All right, so yeah, there we go. There we go. Oil nice and nice and hot. Don't crowd the pan with too much chicken. Let it fry and then take it out. Then start another batch. Okay, because the more um. Do it in small batches real high. The more cold chicken, and I had it sitting out for a few minutes, but it's still cold relative to the oil that's in the pot. So the more you add, the more cold meat you add to that oil, you're going to cool your oil down and it's going to, uh, yeah, you'll have stuff sitting. So yeah, the air fryer is awesome, just not for the fried chicken that I want until I I'm still I'm playing with it I'm trying to master it um right now I'm feeling it for my plantains and stuff like that but only when I try the fried chicken now I did some frozen wings the other night and I did like a sweet Thai chili sauce on it oh, let me tell you those were good, and I put them in there frozen, and they were really, really good. Okay, so right now, I'm just, sorry, I know that's loud. So I'm just, um, cooking, hey, Dula, Abdullah, hi. I'm just cooking the chicken until it's just brown. Just round. I don't mind some strips in there. Okay. So when you're doing your chicken breast, make sure. So one of the things I learned when I was 15. 
13 years old. I was working at Piggly Wiggly on Liberty Street in Sumter, South Carolina. And I learned because my job, I worked, I started working at the deli in, at Piggly Wiggly in Sumter. Started working at the deli. So, you know, they got to teach you how they do things. And one of the things I learned is that white me does not take, um, as long to cook as dark meat does okay so when you're doing your white meat if you want to fry it then make sure you don't over fry it because then it'll start to like get stringy you don't want that you don't want folks talking about you like that okay all right Ah. <laughs> hey everybody thanks for being here it's been one hell of a week but we're here we're here tonight together and um i know i'm in good company i appreciate you being here with me yep Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live every Friday night right here on Facebook at Carla Renee, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, 6 Central. Ugh. So when I figure out how to do some really good fried chicken in that air fryer, then the next time you see me frying stuff will be in that. Right now, I tested it out and I was like, nah, that tastes like um, astronaut chicken. I don't know, I just have this, this thought of like astronauts eating like air chicken and I wasn't impressed. Wasn't impressed a little bit. Yeah, I added too many pieces to start to cool down. I just want to check and see if the flavoring from the mayonnaise is in this chicken. Now, I don't want my chicken to taste like mayonnaise, but I want it to have the sweet and salt balance that mayonnaise has. So that is why, <laughs> so that is why I, want, um, I did it in the mayonnaise, but I didn't add any additional salt. Um, mm, so I'm already taking high blood pressure and pills. And this chicken is going to go inside of a sweet and sour sauce in a little bit. Right? Mm -hmm. That is good to me. Now, if this wasn't going in the sauce, then yeah, I would season this baby down with all kinds of stuff. Okay? But since it's going in sweet and sour sauce, don't over season it. Just, just get it crispy. And the reason why we fry it for this recipe is that we want our sweet and sour sauce to really stick to the outside of this chicken. Okay? So I think I'm going to stop there for right now. I think that's enough. Yeah! When that's done, I'll move it to the other eye. We'll bring our skillet up and then we will start our sauce. Okay. Now, confession. I um I pulled up the, the sweet and sour sauce recipe online. Yes, I'm not making this up now. Of course, I'm putting my own little flavor on it. I'm gonna add a little something here and there just to you know. Okay, so hold on. That's coming. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, I need to write that down because it's going to get on my nerves. Oh, yeah. 
Don't worry, I'm I'm mopping tonight before I go to bed. <laughs> like every Friday night. Oh gosh. Okay. So I got that. Let's go ahead and switch. I will put just a little bit of this oil. There we go. So our thinly sliced baby bell peppers, our shallots, and our yes, get that air fryer. And our lemon zest. Okay, here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that all. I'll go ahead and get it all mixed in there. Okay, so pot is hot. We're sweating it. We're not trying to turn these veggies brown, but we want them to sweat and get just a little bit softened, okay? So, that's all we're doing for that. And then I want to add a little bit of salt to really uh, draw that moisture out. I'm really minding my salt tonight, like... And not just tonight, like, I have been, um, I knew that before I started that, uh, Real Appeal program, I really had to be committed, like, before I started the program, so I was already starting walking, I was already cutting out certain things, you know, limited, y'all know I enjoy my wine, where my wine at? I enjoy my wine, I do, and I'm gonna have some tonight, but this is my first time having wine, so, yeah, um, so when I do the right thing, I get to reward myself and indulge just a little bit. Just a little bit. Quit judging. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to bring you in. Closer to me. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay, bring it down a little bit. There you go. Okay. So now to this, you're gonna add your y'all. You can find a sweet and sour recipe online. Okay. All right. So this I'm stealing what I found online and then I'm gonna add to it to make it my own okay all right because we just had in front of the kitchen that's what we do together you know that's what we do come on I'm gonna taste a little bit of this chicken I mean it is hardly greasy too because it fried fast mm. Mm -mm -mm. okay concentrate Carla focus To your onions and peppers, you want to add a little bit of brown sugar. Mm. A little lemon juice from that lemon that you zested. A little bit of rice wine vinegar. This is a teaspoon, one teaspoon. Two teaspoons. Pineapple tidbits. Alright. I'm going to just pour it all in there. The juice and everything. Okay. Juice is in there. Okay. Make sure that it's turned up because now it's going to have to cook up and then reduce and make a little sauce, okay? A little soy sauce. Still got a little bit in there. And then you're going to add uh, three tablespoons of ketchup, okay? So, where's my ketchup? Oh. Ketchup. I got another bottle in there. It's, it's almost out, but it, it'll do the trick for now. I can eyeball it. Mm. 
Now, some recipes, they call for, like, uh, red food coloring and stuff. I don't like that. So, you can do that if you want that, like, red sweet and sour sauce. But I don't think there's any need for that. So, I don't do it. Once you do this, it's enough. Okay. Stir, stir, stir. Mix, mix, mix. Get everything well incorporated let it cook until it starts to reduce a bit my 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 i can actually use just a little more brown sugar i, I guess i measured it okay so I'm, I'm gonna use the rest of that and let it cook up Okay, and this is your sweet and sour. This is it. So what you want to happen right now, see how it's just bubbling and cooking and they're dancing and having a good old time. All right. Now you want to let it just do that, what it's doing, until it starts to thicken and until it starts to stick to the back of your spoon. When it sticks to the back of your spoon, you know your sauce is just about ready okay all it needs is just a little little taste and, and a little hit from you about what you want in the sauce now this is going and the one thing i like because i'm a little older now and i like a little bit of heat it keeps my energy up gets my metabolism going i need that at my age so i'm gonna add just a little bit of sriracha sriracha sauce <laughs> i always get intimidated saying that okay now this is where i i add my my flavor and a touch a touch uh i didn't even use the whole spoon because that was too much sesame oil that sesame oil is strong so don't use too much okay get a big spoon because now I'm gonna put my chicken in there literally that's it y'all we just did sweet and sour chicken together all right I should have done this before I added my chicken but I was fast, but I am going to add a little bit of cornstarch slurry to this, just to thicken up my sauce just a little bit, okay? Not a whole lot. I don't want it super thick, but I want it clinging to my chicken. Put that pineapple back in there. And just fold the sauce into the chicken. Now, if you, um, like I said, if you have uh, finicky eaters at home, you can most definitely uh, dice this chicken into some cool little squares. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay. So you can definitely um, dice up that chicken into squares if you want. You know, if you have um, kids at home and just to make it feel a little more authentic for them, then you can definitely do that. I chose to do thin slices because I didn't want it to take forever cooking. So just really thin slices of the chicken, fry it up, put it in there. Uh, right now, I want to, I got me a little bit of rice, heat that up, okay, so while that's going, this, that's it. Turn that down and that's it. Our sweet potato fries are done. 
and I've got oh this is just some um sesame seed and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little of that over my dish so that now I've got something that looks like that yeah not cute honey you can't tell me we ain't eating no sweet and sour chicken from um golden buddha yes i just made that up i don't know if it's a golden buddha restaurant nowhere or not but yeah that's what we doing <laughs> Okay, so I think the rice is done. Um, I'll make sure. Yes. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna take that out. I need a. That's what I was trying to do. My um towel. Okay, plate. You know my little plate trick so when you heat up your little rice portion that you want you I should have actually let me go ahead if you've got any cute little ramekins or a little cup or a mug or something you can do this you don't have to go out and buy ramekins you can find something you already have in your kitchen All right I just want to press this down because when I plate it, I want the rice to be nice and firm. And I guess I'll take a picture of it. If I don't tonight, then I'll take a picture tomorrow and, you know, we'll go from there. Okay. So here we go. Below. Okay, shall we? We shall. Okay, and now you've got your little ramekin of rice on your plate. Nice little portion. I know I can't go over this portion. As a matter of fact, this may be a little too much for my diet tonight. But, isn't that perfect? It's perfect! Guys, someone give that girl a Michelin star. <sighs> Thank y'all. Hey, Jess. Hey, boo. Hey, Sonia. Oh, Bridget, Linda. Guys, thank you. Y'all, do me a favor, though. While y'all are on here uh, watching these little recipes, can you please share Sugar Pearls uh, Studio Kitchen Live and all things Sugar Pearls? Yes, right here on Facebook every Friday night at 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Carla Renee. All right. So just share it. Let folks know we're eating good in the hood. Yes. And uh, if they don't get a chance to check it out on Facebook, they can also... Go to my YouTube page at Sugar Pearls, which is S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. And, of course, Instagram. Uh, occasionally, when the videos uh, are not over an hour, I'm able to put them on IGTV and uh, have them there for you. So you can also look at it uh, on Instagram TV at Sugar Pearls underscore online. And, of course, my website www.sugarpearlsonline.com It is dinner time. <laughs> okay, this is what I know. I'm still Brian Vickerstaff. I'm still learning the air fryer. I was able to do some sweet potato fries. To oh Lord, we forgot to put sweet potato fries on here, honey. Hold on. Now, you know, okay, so, excuse me, so we got our sweet potato fries in here that were coated in a little bit of brown sugar. Look at that. Let me taste. I didn't put 
no cinnamon or nothing, just brown sugar. Y'all. Y'all. Come get your girl. Come get your girl. Yo. She right here doing sweet potato fries in the doggone air fryer. That lemon juice I put on it at the end. Oh, so good. I'm just stealing some to put inside my little. Let me tell you. Okay. Let me show you how to do it now. Okay. So when you serve this at home. And you say, yeah, I got this from this little country girl on. She do a little show called Sugar Sugar Something on Facebook. And she did some sweet potato fries like this. And this I, I want you to, to do it like this here. Mmm. Yeah, sugar pearls. Sweet potato fries with a little brown sugar and lemon. It's like a walking sweet potato pie in your face. Man, yeah, this right here, get you air fry, and I got a big seven quart, okay, this is my head, this is my head, you can see my face, fries in a cone, yes, come on Cheryl, work with the vision girl, work with the vision, yes boo, all for you okay so the air fryer i got is a seven quart air fryer okay so look at the size of my face big face big fryer look at how big this thing is it big boo and deep and it's got a little metal rack to fit so if you want to do like two layers or something you can do two layers yeah. oh don't start again picture of that now because I ain't take a picture of that not with the fries come on yes honey she gangsta with it who gangsta with some sweet potato fries though really really Okay, boom, 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 done. Shall we eat together? It big, boo, thank you, Kay. <laughs> All right. You know I gotta taste it for you? Okay, so we got our little jasmine rice. I mean, this sauce is sticking to the chicken too. Sticking to the chicken, yes. That's restaurant quality sweet and sour sauce. Yeah. I'm gonna try a piece of this chicken though. Okay, hold on. Mmm. And if you want to do shrimp instead of chicken, boo boo, do it. You don't have to do chicken. Do shrimp. You can do a piece of fish. Fry the fish up separately and then toss it in there with the sauce. Mmm. The sesame oil is not overpowering because I didn't do that much. So it's just a little bit. <laughs> I do have the 
Holy Ghost. Yes. Let me tell you. This chicken is life. Mmm. <laughs> Magnifique! It's so good. The potatoes aren't sugary sweet. They're sweet, but it's not like, oh God, that's a lot of sugar. Mm -mm, no. This was actually a good combination. Sweet potato fries. And sweet and sour chicken. Never would have thought of putting that together. <laughs> but it um it good, bo. It good. Mmm. Mmm. Piece of chicken. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Make this. Tell your family go and order Chinese takeout one night and make this dish. I'm telling you. Mm. Now, that's not a dish I can make a lot because it is... Um, I did fry the chicken in oil, which was so satisfying. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> Until I can figure out how to make it taste like that in the air fryer. Yeah, I didn't get that from the air fryer, except with the raw frozen um, chicken wings. Okay. That's another recipe for tonight, y'all. So, make it, pass it on, share the video. Don't hoard all this goodness to yourself. <laughs> Tell other people. Yes. Then where's the wine? <laughs> y'all know me too well. That's a problem. You know me too well. Mm, 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 mm. That's good stuff. Brian, thank you. Thank you. You are here chatting and stuff. Look at you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, and I appreciate all of my friends and family that tune in on Friday nights here on Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Um, because I know that you don't have to because I know hold on I'm gonna turn I'm gonna do this for a second. Um, oh there you go um, one you don't have to two you don't have to <laughs> And three, I just, I want you to see what's possible. All of you, it, all, every one of you th that's tuned in to the show tonight. You know, um, you know, I started this thing as just an outlet for me. And I love you too, Tato! <laughs> oh, super cousin, super cousin. So it, uh, I started this as an outlet for me, uh, as a way to, cause it, so I love therapy. I do. Uh, it's not always affordable, but let me tell you, it's beneficial and I love it. And I love, you know, um, oh God, I had a high quality therapist 
And she wasn't just telling you what you need to do. Like you led yourself to the answer. So the show is my way of kind of continuing that, a way to have an outlet and to be led to the answer. I don't know what the answer is for where we are right now. I just don't. But I am tired. I am heartbroken. Sick to death of seeing and hearing about all of the madness. And um, increasingly frustrated with people who make excuses for what is. Um, because it doesn't have to be. We can be better for each other. We can be better to each other. And I just don't think that we've been good stewards when it comes to taking care of one another or ourselves. Sometimes we take better care of other people than we do ourselves. Sometimes we say the sweetest, kindest things and we give the best advice to other people and we don't take our own medicine. And it's, uh, it's, it's difficult. It's hard living in a world where things are put in your face constantly that make it appear, make it appear that you don't matter. That You know, um, yeah, let's just leave it at that. Let's just leave it at that <laughs> and be better than we were the day before. Because somebody needs to see what church looks like. And they probably need to see it in you. Somebody needs to see what love looks like. And they will see it in you. Somebody needs to know what forgiveness and kindness looks like. And they will see it in you. So if we aren't putting our best selves out front first, then what are we telling the world? What are we telling the people that are close to us? So I can be this way with you, but I can be raggedy any other time. No, we've, we've still got to be greater than our greatest selves when it hurts the most, when society is telling you that a black life ain't worth shit. We still got to put on the... And I just think enough is enough. I think enough is enough. I think enough... Forgiveness after you have 
done something to destroy me or my brother or sister is wrong. And pardon me if I don't forgive you immediately. Yo sorry don't mean nothing. You know, it's amazing. You know, all these apologies coming out from people with all of these, you know, um, skeletons that have come out. Now everybody wants to apologize. No, oh, where, where was all that energy when you were doing what you were doing? I want that apology. Yeah, the, the apology you feel now because you about to lose your job. The apology you feel now because your college deans have found out that you're really just a racist. Where was that energy? So I know there is a lot going on with us and as black folks, we got our own family matters. Okay, and we will take that up with each other. But when it comes to my brothers and my sisters, <laughs> ten toes down. Don't. Do not. Y'all, we got the ability to shake and shape the world. And if we don't use this time now to do it, then we're going to let another cycle pass by and then all of this foolishness is going to come up again and we're going to, you know, what are we going to do as people? <laughs> what are we going to do? I don't agree with riots. I don't condone riots. There's a, a very... I already said this show wasn't for kids under 16, so if you don't want them watching right now, then send them out of the room. But I've uh, said in the past, and it's popular in Italian culture and in Jewish cult culture, and my last name, Isaac, that's a Jewish name. One of the things that they teach in those two cultures is you don't shit where you eat. But on the other hand, pain is a response to pain. That is where we are. And you can be mad about people tearing up their city and all of this and yeah, okay, that stuff can be rebuilt. But what cannot be rebuilt is the backs that you have broken on your racist attitudes over the years. You, your mama and them, your cousin and them, all of them. Claiming to be with black people because they got a black friend apiece. That ain't cutting it. That is not cutting it. Now, I will say this, unless some other Democrat, I don't, I don't even want to talk about the voting issue. I think it goes without saying. Not a whole lot of us are enthusiastic about Joe Biden and I don't want this to be a politics show. It's not, but I don't know a whole lot of people that are like turning cartwheels because Joe, no, we ain't excited. But right now it's like, what's the alternative? We got to do something. We got to do something and we got to keep having dialogue with people that don't look like us so they understand how not to kill people that look like us. And if it costs you a couple of 
white friends or Asian friends, then so be it. So be it. But we got to stop selling ourselves for pennies. So, I didn't want to get into the whole, I didn't watch the video. I didn't intentionally. I um, have been dealing with my own struggles. You know, I have a black son who has special needs, who can't communicate. Um, his pain or his frustration in a way that can truly impact society in a positive way. He don't know how to do that. Okay, so when when stuff pop, pops off with him, it just pops off, and it is very difficult to rein in. So I could not watch the video because. All I could see was my son's face. And if you or your non-black friends are not as moved, I don't I want whatever we do to make sense. So, vote. Take part in society. Let them know you're here. I don't want people just to be saying your name after we dead and gone. Say his name. No, I, w I want you to say your name now with your vote. I want you to say your name now by taking part in society and calling out all things abhorrent. Because if we don't do that, what are we here for? It's our responsibility to take care of we. Okay, so... I hope that going forward we will do a better job and that all of the killing of black and brown bodies over America in 2020 will stop. But not before we make one hell of a mess. I don't know what your hell of a mess is, but make sure they don't forget you. I gotta go because I got clothes to fold and I'm exhausted. Um, I didn't turn on the TV to watch the news all week long. I can't. Right now, I just need to. I still, I'm still in touch and I still know what's going on. I just I needed a break and I need, needed to get rid of some things that didn't belong um, but I'm back and it's now time for us to work so Camille Golston Bennett if you are on I hope you are me and my friend Willie Williams were talking and would really love for you to lead a discussion um, with our non-black sisters and brothers about how to graduate from where we are now to a society that looks like something we want to leave for our kids. Okay? Because when, when you are an active member of society, you vote and you participate because you want to leave something better for those behind. Your kids, your grandkids, your, your nieces, nephews, stuff like that. 
you know so um I'm a little bit out of a loss at where to go now. All I feel is anger and rage and frustration. And yet so much love and adoration for my black brothers and sisters. I just do. We the shit. We are. We are. But we got to start walking like we are. <laughs> And letting people know. So if that means um, yanking your dollars away, because they listen when money when money talk, okay. So if you yank your dollars away from systems that really don't have our best interest at heart, okay. And this is why you need to research. And understand who is doing what and why. And that's why that stuff by Amy Klobuchar is coming out. Because she ain't getting in front of that shit. That was sloppy. Yeah, she was, she, mm-hmm. She deserved that. Show did. Um. But now we, we got to start using our voice. And really becoming invested in the society in which we've been planted. We were planted. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Anwar. So if we're going to make the system work for us, then we need to learn every part of it and use it to our advantage. Why? Because we're good enough. We're smart enough. We've proven that over and over again. So as you go tonight, I want you to remember that and I want you to remember your power you've got the power to move mountains you do because no one person can do it alone and i thank you i thank you for just letting me purge and and just say what's on my heart but um camille if you're on sweetie i would really love for you to do that and we will invite um our police officer friends because there are some good cops out there i know a few <laughs> i know several okay and we will invite our non-african american friends on to Talk about where we go now because so much damage has been done. Now what do we do to repair as a people, then as a nation? Because we got to fix us. And we got to remember our strength and where we come from, kings and queens. We'll get it. I know we will. Another episode of Sugar Pro Studio Kitchen Live has come to an end. I thank you so much. I was so torn um, about cooking tonight. I didn't feel like cooking tonight. I didn't want to. I didn't have the energy. Oh my God, Jonay Brown. Before I go, Monet and Jonay Brown, happy birthday, my twin nieces. My beautiful girls, happy birthday to you guys. And if any of you are celebrating, just don't forget to celebrate. Enjoy. Yeah, we in a pandemic, but you know what? We can do things to enjoy and um, remember these significant times for years to come. So I'm going to sign off, but not before I tell you next week to join me again. Uh, right here, 7 o'clock, Facebook, Carla Renee, Sonia, I love you too. Thank you so much. That means I had a memory about you and I shared with a friend of mine. I'm going to have to tell you about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one day I'm going to tell you all too. 
<laughs> yeah, Sonia got me all the way together together. Sonia Campbell, Stillman College. Got me all together uh, on the campus of Stillman College in front of the library. I was uh, emotional over a young man that I had broken up with. And she saw me and she was like, <laughs> you better get yourself together. I mean, and like check me for real. So I'll never forget. And I love her for that always. <laughs> And don't forget, I love you. And I hope you love me back.